Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a globe. I'm going to take three fingers at the center and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line around, curve line up, and connect. Right where that first dot is, I was, I'm going to put a little baby circle. Starting at the bottom, right here where the baby circle is, I'm going to draw a big curve line down, up, and leave that floating. Come up to the top of the baby circle, and I'm going to mimic that line again. Curve line down, around, and now reach up, connect with a point. Come down below, and I'm going to draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, come back to the left, straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal down on the right, come back to the left, straight line, connect. If you have room, you can put another little straight line on the left, straight line on the right, slightly straight line, curved line, connect. Okay. I come back up, and this is going to get a little, uh, might make your eyes crazy, but we're going to add curve line down on the circle part, curve line down, now going the opposite way, curve line down, curve line down, maybe one more, curve line down. Now we're going to cross those going the opposite horizontal way. So starting at the top, I do a curve line over, connect curve line over, connect, curve line over, connect, and one more if you can fit it, curve line over, connect. Okay? This will be easier to see once we start coloring. Now, on the inside, I'm just going to draw some wavy, wavy, curve lines, wavy, wavy, curve line, connect. These are not actual continents. I'm just making some wavy curve lines, connect, wavy line, curve line, wavy, wavy, to fill in. You might even put some little connectors on the left, maybe a little connector line on the right. Okay, these are not exact and they're not supposed to be. They're just giving you the illusion of the continents. Okay, let's see if that's it. I think so. We're ready to color. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, probably the most important thing to color right at the beginning is color in your stand that your globe is resting in. That's so that you can see the actual globe. So I'm using yellow. If you've got gold or gray for a metallic look, you can. But if you don't, yellow is fine. This is all of the globe's stand, what it's sitting on. This makes it easier for you to actually see the actual globe. Now, using a blue-green, and this will take you a little bit of time, I color in every one of these little spaces going around my continents with turquoise blue. This is representing the ocean, all the oceans. Come in, take your time, don't color in your landforms, just go ahead and color around all of these little landforms that you did draw. Everybody should look different. Fill those in with blue-green. The last part is using green for the inside sections of your landforms, just to add some color, little bits of green, orange, just to give you a different look, and finally, brown around the rest of it. 
Take your time, don't rush. If you get into a problem, stop and take a rest, okay? You can use your own colors, but these are the ones I chose, okay? Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my globe all colored in, ready for a classroom. And if you want to, you can color in your landforms or draw your landforms more realistically than I did. Okay, bye-bye.